You can see where this politically goes for him. He's going to put the heat on, on your side of politics and Peter Dutton saying, if you are really about middle Australia and workers, as the opposition leader has, has said he is, as leader of the Liberal Party, then how can you not support these changes? The cost of living pressures Australians are facing aren't new. And indeed, Anthony Albanese was claiming and talking about pressures prior to the last election. So if he thought he was going to have to make these changes or might want to make these changes, why lie? Why couldn't he be honest uh, about the fact that Labor would look to make the types of changes? But these are changes that also look like they're being drawn up on typical Labor class warfare lines, seek to divide Australians, to seek to denigrate one part of Australians as being wealthy and another part uh, as being more deserving, rather than recognising that there's a reason these tax cuts are called the Stage 3 tax cuts, because there were two prior yeah. stages that were targeted at low- and middle-income earners. This stage, helping to eliminate bracket creep, as I was saying before, but yes, also dealing with the fact that there are twice as many Australians in the top income tax bracket today than when the thresholds for that bracket were set. And they've all been pushed sure. into that tax bracket because of bracket creep. Uh, and so you've got to address that to keep the tax system fair and not to have an undue burden yeah, no, for it, on some it's, Australians it's, and an anti-competitive tax absolutely. system Absolutely. Your of point incentives to makes work. a lot of sense and it's a broken promise. We agree on, on that. And the point on bracket creep makes a lot of sense. Just in terms of the, the raw politics, though, the Prime Minister and the government believe clearly that they think they can win this because the vast bulk of Australian taxpayers are going to benefit in a much greater way than they otherwise would. Well, I think... How do you navigate the politics of that? Well, I think... Well, I think, Kieran, firstly, the vast bulk of Australians will see it for the broken promise it is. Secondly, I think Australians will be right to look at it with dubious outlook. And that is because, as I said before, what they receive that some Australians might get in the next year or two at the expense of other Australians will only be eroded in the couple of years that follow because Labor's going to maintain a system that has higher rates of bracket creep in it. Uh, so Australians who okay. might get a little bit more under Anthony Albanese's reforms this year will quickly be worse off uh, because Labor's changes will simply keep bracket creep as a fundamental problem in Australia's tax system, whereas Let the me ask you, I want to ask you eliminated the, it for the vast bulk of hard-working Australians. The, the Shadow Foreign Minister, I need to ask you quickly about this story that the Prime Minister's department was notified um, of that Chinese naval sonar incident last year before the Prime Minister met Xi Jinping. We still don't know whether he raised that issue with the Chinese president, though. He could well have. Well, firstly, the revelation that he was or his department was informed beforehand is deeply embarrassing because Anthony Albanese has faced direct questions about what he knew when his office was informed, when his department was informed, and he's refused to answer those questions. This information has had to be dragged out through freedom of information processes. Mm -hmm. But all of it underscores the fact that there's a deep lack of transparency from Anthony Albanese about what he knew on this and what he did with the information. Uh, ultimately, it appears as if he did not raise it directly with President Xi, uh, and not raising it was a betrayal of uh, Australia's hard-working defence personnel and yeah. all Australians who would expect their Prime Minister to take the opportunity when they had it face-to-face -to, -face to raise concerns about any Chinese military actions that endangered the lives of Australian service personnel. Simon Birmingham, we are out of time. I appreciate you joining us. Thanks. Thanks, Kieran. My pleasure.